What's up there and welcome to a brand new video on 414 Anime. In today's video I'm opening up Figma number 223 which is Archer from the Fate Stay Night series. And hey if you're new here why not join the 414 community by hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out. I'm a big fan of the Fate series and Archer as well. Awesome character, awesome series. So this was definitely a figure that I had to pick up. What I'll do is I'll leave a link to this figure in the description below so if you want to pick one up for yourself then head over there. But first of all, we're just going to look at the box. So, it's uh, one of the newer Figma's uh, style boxes anyway, so it's got that nice kind of clean finish to it. And obviously, as we can see on here, we've got this window. So, we've got the figure itself over here. Got one of the alternate faces and his twin blades, which looks absolutely awesome. And on one side of the box, we have a picture of Archer there. And of course, again, on the other side, another full picture of the Archer figure. And finally, the back of the box. So, this is obviously featuring more pictures of the Archer figure in its various poses, uh, which looks absolutely incredible. And I'm definitely excited to get into this figure. So, let's get Archer out of the box. Okay, so here is Archer outside of the box. Obviously, we can see pretty much the same as what we got from the front. We've got the full figure there, the twin blades, the expression there and we can just see the different accessories in the bottom I think if that's just on camera. The back of the packaging there obviously we've got his bow and we have uh, this I can't remember what it's called but it's basically like a big arrow thing. So here's a quick look at Archer outside the box then and as a brief overview the thing looks absolutely amazing. The colours are very vibrant on this and reflect Archer's character design very very well. I mean the jacket looks incredible, the detail on the clothing, uh, the trousers, it just looks fantastic. The detail on the face and hair looks really good. I mean the attention to detail on this thing is absolutely amazing. If I swing him around we'll look at the hair. The detail on the hair looks absolutely incredible as well. As well as the back of the figure. The detail in the coat creases. And the shoes as well. They look absolutely fantastic. What an awesome, awesome figure. Absolutely incredible. Looking at Archer's accessories then, so of course we get this alternate face as well. This is more of an, like an angry kind of combat face, whereas the first one was a bit more of just a plain face. I think one thing they could have done is maybe add in uh, another facial expression, maybe if it's like arrogant smirk or something, that would have been really good. We also have the twin blades as well, so we've got Kansho and Bokria. These things look really cool. Obviously these are designed to represent yin and yang. A uh, little cool fact about that there, obviously as you can see the uh, the yin and yang symbol there. Let's see if we can pick up some of that detail. That's absolutely incredible. Nice. Made very very well. Look at the handle there as well. That is so awesome. Here's a quick look at Can Show as well. Absolutely amazing. Of course, we've got his bow as well. Uh, not an awful lot of detail on this thing. It feels very, very light, very slim. It's got these little tips at the top there. Uh, the handle as we go down. There's a bit of that there as well. Uh, in order to get this on the hand, uh, from the reviews I've seen of this already, it's quite, quite the task. This front part here is just going to pop off um, like that. It's connected by these two little kind of like prongs I guess. Uh, a lot of people said that it, it is quite fragile, fragile as well. And we've got this part as well uh, which is yeah, very similar to what I think Excalibur looks like in the Sabre figure. Uh, but this is of course like uh, an arrow. I can't remember what it's called so leave me that in the comment section below there. But the detail on this thing is absolutely insane. That nice metallic paint on the sides there looks really cool. It came with this spare part as well. Um, I'm not entirely sure what it is. Uh, obviously it's some sort of stand. And here they are. Instructions. So obviously this is an overview, overview of what we've got in the figure. Um, here's a bit more about how to put the bow on there. I, I believe the, 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 like the grip hand is really quite tight as well. So it's going to be a nightmare getting that bow on there. Uh, so that's the, the English version there. Um, does it actually say what that part was? I don't think it did. And then obviously on the back, same again, but in Japanese. Of course we get alternate hands as well. So this one's going to be holding that arrow over there. We've got an open palm uh, there. We've got these, uh, like the blades holding hands or the arrow holding hands, um, the bow holding hands, sorry. And we've got two open palms here as well as the, uh, the default clenched fists that is already on the figure. We have the Figma base and stand as well, transparent. We can just see the Figma logo behind there and uh, the stand as well. White, uh, clear on white, not a good good combo. We've also got a spare, uh, spare joint just in this little bag over here. Finally, a Figma bag as well so we can store all the accessories when we're not using them. Awesome. Okay, in terms of articulation then, I'll start with the head. So we've obviously got the side to side tilt on there. Uh, I believe his head's going to bend all the way 
Saying that, there's not that much on there, to be honest, with, with Archer. I don't know if you can see that. There's quite a bit of resistance. So he turns left to right. Uh, he doesn't really tilt or anything. Uh, so there's not much head articulation on there. The torso, I guess. So he's he, he kind of moves a bit from his chest over here. So yeah, he'll twist side to side. Uh, crunch, ab crunch as they call it. Uh, that's quite impressive. Um, don't know if you can see that. Quite impressive. So he bends all the way down like that and then all the way. Wow, <laughs> that's like <laughs> that's like Matrix. <laughs> that's incredible. Uh, as for his uh, arms, obviously they spin around like this. Uh, I don't know if you can just see in here, but the joints, um, this like bit of plastic near the joints, like really flexible. So of course we can uh, move that around like there. He's on a ball joint. He's got a joint at the elbow, so he can come in, and then the wrist he'll spin around like that, and the hand goes up and down. There we go. Up and down, which is awesome. Uh, he's got this bit of a material just here as well. So that's just like this part. Sorry, this part is just like this over here. So it's flexible. So you can move your, your arms around and things like that. Um, at the waist, he obviously turns very well. Uh, he'll tilt, tilt over to that side and he'll tilt over to that side as well, which is incredible. On the back of his coat, like cape thing, you can just see these two couple of joints over here. Uh, so that's gonna enable his coat just to flap up like that, so we can get some really cool action poses. I believe this part comes off as well, so you can have him without the uh, the long tail coats there. But then moving's uh, really, really cool. This part of his trousers here, again, is flexible, so I'm, I'm guessing this is gonna allow us to, to move the legs, so that's the leg all the way up there, that's pretty impressive. Uh, he's got the band, this turns as well. As well as that, you've got the foot, so it's got that toe, toe maneuver there. Uh, I think the foot will. Um, yeah, so the foot can turn left to right like that. It's got the, not much of a tilt. Not much of a, it's got a bit of a pivot. Bit of a pivot. But overall, uh, articulation on this thing, apart from the head, is pretty, pretty damn impressive. So you're gonna be able to get some really cool poses out of this figure. To change Archer's facial expression, all you do is you pull the face off, uh, like this. Get your separate, ex uh, different expression, and then you can just pop that on the front like that, and then hey, angry Archer, awesome. Uh, same with the hands, uh, these basically just kind of like pop off. And then you've got that little joint in there. Grab the hand and just pop it in there. Or fight with it in there like I usually do with Figma. There we go. Ah, my hand. <laughs> and there we go. Uh, a, a kind of cool, cool pose already there, which is uh, awesome. But with the articulation being done there, I'm gonna showcase Archer in some different poses. <laughs> Thanks for watching, this was my unboxing and review of Figma number 223, which was Archer from the Fate Stay Night series. I hope you enjoyed the video, like I said I'll leave a link to this in the description below. I'm really happy with how it looks and I'm really happy with how it poses. For anyone that is a fan of the Fate series, this is definitely a figure that you'd need to pick up for your collection. But of course if you want more anime figure reviews, anime fact videos, anime subscription boxes and more, hit the subscribe button right now. And if you enjoyed this video don't forget to smash the like button. Share this video with a friend or leave me a comment in the section below. But that is it from me. I will see you in the next video. Take care. The Loose Ribitania commands you.